Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man and welcome back to some more Leicester City Simulated Manager Mode playthrough today. It is part 6 and we're rattling, we're going to be rattling through, I reckon, till about March, end of March time maybe. Let's get straight on with it guys, we've got a lot of things to get through. Bolton Wanderers coming up first and they are top of the table. To get a win here would be very, very nice indeed. However, the striker situation that we've got at the moment, I don't think is going to be possible. Um, now, guys... I've got to get some sort of striker, haven't I? I'm sure I said this in the last episode. You've got to excuse me, guys. I've um, taken a couple of days and I'm recording this one uh, next. So, Harry Kane suffered a broken metatarsal. We all know this. Let's go into the squads so that we can see what kind of uh, team that we've got. Uh, Morata's back from injury, so that's not too bad. But we do have a 67 rated guy. Maybe we don't need another striker. Maybe maybe we just don't. So, somebody somebody in the comments section was saying on the latest video that I put up, part 5, um, that, uh, what's his first? Where, where is he? Don't sell him whatever you do. Is it him? Knockout. No, where's Knockout? Where are you, Knockout? You're so ab. There he is. Um, now, it, it usually said, apparently... Apparently, why can't I get his like stats up here? What's going on? What's going on with my life? It won't let me get his stats up. Squad report has that something special. Apparently, it says about uh, knockout. Has that something special? Apparently, when it says this, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong here, but somebody was saying to me uh, through the comment section that when it says has that something special, that that guy actually turns out. To be like ridiculous in terms of uh, in terms of overall, FIFA's picked this guy out to be a really really good person. So that's fair enough. Um, we'll wait to see how that guy fares out, and whether or not that thing that kind of uh, piece of advice is is the truth. Whether or not that that is actually the case. So. This is a big match, guys. This is a massive match. We're nine points ahead of Blackpool, who are outside of uh, the promotion zone there. And we are ourselves four points outside of, um, of automatic promotion. And this is, I mean, guys, automatic promotion would be something I just wouldn't expect on my first season. It would be amazing if I could get it. If I don't get it, it's not that big of a, you know, big of a deal. Um, because I wasn't expecting it, you know, I'm not expecting it. So let's go. Come on now. Let's get a win against Bolton away from home, of course. Um, I highly doubt that it's going to end up in a win, guys, but if it does, it's a massive plus. 1-0, not a bad result, especially we lost in the 84th minute. Jimenez scored a penalty as well. Um, that is really, really annoying, but still, nothing I can do about it, guys. Still three points dropped, and that is a big thing. I don't want to drop any points if I can help it, guys. Drinkwater's picked up a suspension. Fucking fantastic. Um... All right, we're still in third place. Brighton are right up our cracks. Same with Wolves, practically. Um, next game is against Ipswich, who are mid-table. Uh, we've got quite a bit of a break until the next one as well, so maybe you know we'll get all of our guys up to full fitness. That'll be great. I really do hope that I do get promotion this season, but if I don't, please, guys, if I don't get promotion, you know, don't go, oh, you fucking knobhead. Oh, you fucking fuck, fuck, fuck. Right, we're, we're, uh, we're running low on strikers now, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to actually reject that and go up, you know, go off and see if I can actually get um, take him off the transfer list. Transfers, sell players. Where are you, so ab? Oh, it's only Hopper that's on the uh, transfer list, is it? Oh, fair enough. So I wasn't actually going to sell him anywhere. That's good news. So, where are we? we? We're eight points now, actually, um, uh, in front of Blackpool. Leeds, once again, you know, rattling around just outside the playoff zones, as always. It'll get to later on in the season, and then it'll start to be shit, and then just fall out into the middle of nowhere, as what happens, seems to happen every season. Is it, is it just me, or do Leeds have a really good start to the season, and then just drop off? Either that, or, you know, they play the same all season, it's everybody else who gets better. Ipswich, though. Transfer offer for Tom Hopper. He's probably going to say no. He's said no to absolutely everything else. It's really annoying, but what can you do about these guys who are like 30 rated or something like that? Um, 
They keep going on about it. I know I'm going to get some stick as well. Uh, I'm sure that episode that I went, sh I sold Schlup. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get some stick about uh, about selling that guy. I haven't seen all of the comments, guys, from uh, the the last episode. I do apologise, but I will be, you know, taking a good look at them later on tonight. Match has been rescheduled. Oh, what? And of course, the transfer talks have been broke, uh, broken down. Wonderful. So when's Okay, so it's a Monday match now. Fair enough. Uh, Liam Moore has come to us, told us made no attempt to resolve the, any issues regarding his wage. We do not like discontent amongst the team, so we've agreed to transfer list him. You can resolve this issue. I never got anything about putting... I'm sure I didn't. Liam Moore. Why are you whinging about it? Where are you, Moore? Son of a bitch. Get here. Right, it's 66 rated. Um, I don't know if this guy's even been playing, to be quite honest, but... I mean, whatever. He only wants a one-year uh, contract extension and another grand putting on his wages. It's not too bad, you know what I mean? But uh, if it does come a, become a problem in the future, I'm sure I can just sell him, so... It's no real big deal. Come on now, Nugent. Want you on farm for this game? What's the team looking like? Not too bad, not too shabby. We could really do with hitting that run of farm again. That would be really nice. Oops. Gone back in when I shouldn't have done. That's what she said. <laughs> Never mind. Simulate this match. Come on, we're at home for this. Let's start this winning streak. Right here, right now, today. 2-1, that's, that's a good start. It's a good start. Too close for comfort. Knockout coming off the bench to score, which is always good. And getting a yellow card in the process. Drink water is eligible. Again. Good. Oh my god, how much shit do they want to spam in my face? Seriously. Leicester, we're seven points behind Cardiff now. We really are going to have to get our cracks in gear if we want to catch them guys up again. But other than that, I think we're looking... As long as we don't hit a massive losing streak, which we still could, guys. Bearing in mind, we haven't gone through Injury cent Central yet, and that's usually about March, April time. Nothing much is going to be happening for me right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go to the calendar here. I'm going to whip over to there. Yes, I still want to continue simulating the world. Just as long as nobody sells out of mine, I'm all right. Contract offer has been declined. Contract length demands not met. Well, I, d I did. What is wrong with you? Hmm. Liam Moore, come here and stop being such a cheese about it. All right, then. Because you'd do that in real life. They'd say, no, I don't want a contract. You'd never speak to me again. <laughs> because they'd do that, of course. You couldn't renegotiate. Um, what are we looking at? Ooh, Wolves can actually go ahead of us with their game in hand. Harry Kane is back. Thank fuck for that. It's Wood that I wanted back. Is Wood back yet? I can't remember if Wood, if Wood is back. It's actually going to be Wolves versus Leeds, so it seems. It's going to be an interesting game. Both fighting for, uh, you know, place in playoffs. Wolves wanting to cement their place a little bit more, I'm thinking there. Okay, so. Right, let me have a quick look to see if Wood's available. As well. Or is he still fucked? Yeah, he's still fucked. Son of a bitch. Morata's actually gone up to 75. We're doing uh, their team a good job there. Good. We're getting some farm. We've got some good farm there within that team. And uh, we're away to Bristol City, guys. Yikes. Come on. Be having it. Two one, yes, get in. Murata, seventy eighth minute winner. Great stuff. It's another three points to add to the tally, and that is making us look good. Because now, actually, even if Wolves won their game in hand, they still would not be able to catch up to us. And we've got a game here against. Is that Burnley? I think it's Burnley. Let's look ahead to the next round of fixtures in the N Power Championship. Switch all the squad around. De Segli's gone up to 75 now. For some reason, they keep using him as left back, but uh, if he can do the job there, he can do the job there, can he? 
So not looking too fantastic in energy, but uh, still the form of the team is looking great. Another away game as well. Oh no, I hate away games, guys, because they just know that you know most of the time you're going to lose these. Three two, fantastic stuff, and the en uh, the enemy had a. Uh, an injury to them. Zavala, to Segley and Vardy all scoring goals. Vardy getting a 76 minute winner um, against them. Another three points. Fantastic. Look at that. We're catching up to Cardiff now. We were, we we're on 70 points. We're on 66. Only four points in it. And uh, we're going to be facing uh, Middlesbrough, I think that is. That, uh, that badge. But it does look as if we're looking really, really nice, guys, for a, a promotion finish. Not a promotion finish, but a playoff finish. Playoff finish was what I aimed for, and uh, God knows what it's going to be next season, what kind of budget we're going to get or anything like that, but uh, I would love uh, an automatic you know, promotion uh, rather than go through the agony of, of playoffs, but uh, needs must, needs must. It's nice to see the teams getting better, though. Seven is across the board. Look at that. Very nice indeed. Look at that. Great run of form as well. This is fantastic. This is what we need. Simulate this match. We're at home against Middlesbrough. So, come on. I know we've got it in his ear. For another win. 3-0. Unfortunately, we've got an injury to Zavala and Nugent, guys. Two for Marata, one for Kane coming off the bench. Um, how bad are the injuries? Three days, not too bad. And five weeks with a broken metatarsal for David Nugent. Because this is what happens to clubs, guys. You get numerous people out with broken feet. <sighs> and so the injury season does continue. To lose Nugent at such a stage, look at that, we're only a point now behind Cardiff. We're getting to the crux, the important part of the season. March, April, Manchester City crowned champions. Are you having a laugh? What the fuck happened there? I'm not going to go into stats because for some reason it all fucks up and then decides not to... Uh, not to go on there, but holy shit, to win the league in February 25th, that is ridiculous. I don't know what's gone on there, but that is mad. Unless the crown champions of the uh, like League Cup, which is probably uh, actually the case, and uh, I've just been an idiot. <laughs> oh, right, come on. For the, uh, I think it's going to be like the fourth or fifth win in a row, this one. Nugent's going to be out, unfortunately, but Harry Kane may be back. Properly, fully, uh, apparently not, but still very nice run of form for these guys. I wonder why that one's dark green yet lower than um, Murata. Strange, strange to me. Still, simulate this match, come on, Barnsley, away from home. Great run of form for these guys, but still, we haven't got, what's his face? And it's a 1-0, very uneventful game, 41st minute winner from Vardy. My God. Still one point behind Cardiff. We are looking very, very nice for a playoff finish. Nonetheless, now we've got Wolves who are in the playoffs as well. This is a big match. This is also a very big match. This could, uh, this could push us into automatic pr uh, promotion or it could push us lower down. I don't know if it could actually push us lower down in the playoffs, but hopefully not. Surely, surely Harry Kane's better now. Yeah, he is. And still a very nice vein of form for the team. We're at home against Wolves, but Wolves can be a very difficult uh, opposition on the day. 3-1, fantastic. Whitbread, James and De Shegley. Good. This is exactly what we want to see. Get us up there into that top two position. That is what I want to see. Right there. Come on. I don't think we're going to ever catch up to Bolton, to be quite honest, but automatic promotion would be fantastic. Um, maybe the promotion up to the Premier League. I don't know what kind of money you'll get uh, when it comes to the like transfer window and stuff like that, but um, I don't know if we'll be able to... I'd like a mid-table mid kind of finish next season, uh, but with the team that we've got, I don't think that that's going to be possible. I'm going to have to make some really, really good... Uh, Good buys, unless these guys get absolutely amazingly awesome. International duty is coming up, but first we've got Birmingham, who looks to be in the bottom half of the table, and Schlupp is actually playing for Birmingham. 
And look at that, we've managed to win with that team as well, which uh, is not too bad, is it, really? Look at that, all in form, brilliant. Brilliant, looking like a good team, that. Yeah, we just, we simply do not have the team there to, uh, I don't think, to even avoid relegation in the Premier League. Birmingham versus Leicester, away from home. If this, if we're going to lose any games, I reckon it'll be this one. Ah, 1-0. Morgan's got an injury as well to boot. Seven days with a pulled hamstring. Nugent is back. But does that push us back out of automatic promotion? It certainly does, which is the damn, damn shame. Ah, it's so frustrating. You get there after all that, and then one result brings you back down again. But still. I'll do this game, guys. I'll do a quick look through uh, the squad report, see if anybody's changed. It's Derby, actually, who are, you know, hanging around in mid-table. Leeds are in the playoffs at the moment. Derby. Now, is that going to kick our form down and, you know, send us on a losing spree? I hope not. I really hope not. So all it takes is a couple of bad results and that's it. Your form, your form drops and then you, you, you know, you've got your back against the wall again. But that's not looking too bad. We've won with, uh, we've won with form like that before. We're at home against Derby as well, which is a good thing. One all. Damn you! Damn you! That is not what we wanted. We spent all that time getting up there, and now look, they've gone four points ahead of us yet again. Ah! Whoops, I wasn't meant to uh, go ahead there. We're going to face off against bottom of the table, uh, Charlton Athletic as well. So let's go into the manager's office and have a look at... Um, it's not manager's office, is it? Yeah, it is manager's office. It's squad report. No, it's not. Where the fuck? Oh, it's there. Right. Forget. Kasper Michael's gone up to 76, so that guy's gone up. Uh, Javi Lopez has gone up 3 to 74. Not a bad little buy there for a million quid, especially. Nacho Fernandez. Nacho Camacho. Up to 73. Where's Morgan's not changed from his plus 2 there. De Segli up 3. Of course, we know about this guy's gone up. Uh, we got him for 2.7 and he's worth 3.2. That's a very nice thing to, uh, to get there. He's 26 years old, so maybe when it comes to the end of the season, selling and making a profit on that guy might not be the, might, might not be the worst thing. Uh, as long as we can get a good replacement, of course. Apart from that, everybody else is looking pretty good. Uh, Murata, of course, has gone up to 75. That was the other guy who reached 75. But I don't think anybody else, other than that, really has done anything much. They haven't, so it seems. Now, Liam Moore has actually gone up 4 to 66, so we've got to give that guy some credit and try to get him back on the uh, on the contract uh, list and get him, get him the right contract that he wants. But uh, as for that, guys, that is the end of this episode. I uh, do hope you're enjoying this series. If you are enjoying this series, please do leave a like. It does help absolutely massively. You wouldn't believe it really does help. And if you're enjoying it, why not stick a like on it as well? Thank you, guys. Until next time, I've been the Tough Man. As always, stay safe.